Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to review the Colorfab Engine underscore Lux filament that I got from Colorfab. So let's have a look after the intro. So this filament is a new filament from Colorfab. It is based on the Colorfab Engine filament series and they have added some sparkly things into the filament so the filament is very shiny and has a gl very good glitter effect to it and in good light it is scattering the light in all directions so it looks super good but let's have a look at the spool so uh, as you can see I've already printed about half the spool and it was quite good spool and now they have the colorfab label here with temperature settings and paint bed settings and also the name of the filament so that's good to have a small sticker on the spool with the name of the filament and, and basic print settings this filament I got is called the Regal Violet and it's a light violet slash dark pink <laughs> color I really like this color and it's coming out awesome and straight away from the spool the look of the filament is, is excellent and the spool is, is clear so it's easy to see how much filament is remaining on the spool and I really like those spool they're strong spools and, and good but let's have a look at, at some of the prints so one of the first prints I normally do with a new filament is this retraction settings print I was printing this at 240 degrees on the nozzle and 80 degrees on the bed and I had my engine lux profile in prusa selected and the print quality is pretty good there's a tiny amount of, of stringing in this print but nothing serious and it came out pretty good i broke a, off a corner just to test the strength and this, the strength of this filament is, is crazy good it's very difficult to break it but this print came out excellent the next print i did was a strength test and, and this is printed on the bed lying down like this and this one is standing up like this or like this so i can test the strength of the layer adhesion and in the strength of the print and it's quite difficult to to break this apart and the layer adhesion test is also pretty strong and it's quite difficult to break it so the layers bond together really well and I was printing this at 50 millimeters a second and they point out that if you print at a slower speed you'll get better layer adhesion because the filament has a good time to bond to the next layer but I was printing at 50 millimeters per second and the, that was coming out great and the strength of the filament is, is excellent I then printed out this test piece and here I had a little bit of stringing as you can see here there is tiny wisps of stringing but I was having this stringing cleaned up by a heat gun so it was not a not a special issue um, and here the the bridging test of this print was a little bit off but it was performing otherwise pretty good and the, the look of the filament is, is obviously a little beautiful I then printed out this maker coin the 3d pink mafia maker coin and I'm gonna send this over to Heather at 3d pink mafia and this came out excellent um, this is just a small coin and I printed out a, a bigger one that is more awesome even <laughs> and you can see how the light refracts in the filament it's crazy good looking and if you have a very bright light shining on it it's looking better and better as the light is more bright um, in direct sunlight it absolutely is crazy good looking so this was printing on my Prusa MK3 printer without any issues the prints were coming out excellent with the Prusa engine slicer setting that was preset in the, in the slicer I then printed out this small head of myself just to see how it looked and um, it's, it's looking crazy good and um, has very good detail in the in the back here you can see the the surface of the hair it's coming out excellent and printed without any issues so I was quite happy with this print I then printed out the Omnum and it also came out excellent and there's absolutely no issues with this print it's just f fabulous print and the, the surface finish of the engine lux filament is looking excellent and there's absolutely no issues in the in the print at any place and no no drooping uh, in some prints I get a little bit of drooping here 
but not in this one it just came out perfect and as you can see how the, the glitter material is refracting the light i don't know what exactly what material they use but it's a crazy good looking print so from this basic test i've done normally i decided to print a little bit bigger things and i want to show you those so the first of the bigger prints i did was this artist model and this is the cutest model ever, I think. It is made by Garrett at Chaos Cortec. And it's one of the models he released on his Thingiverse page. And this is coming out excellent. And there was a tiny amount of, of stringing here in between the, the things here. But uh, other than that, it came out excellent. And the stringing issue is just easily cleaned up by a heat gun. So it's not a major issue. And the surface of the model and the backside here is, you see the shine to it. It is absolutely fabulous. And there is no flaws anywhere in the print. It is just 100% successful print. And it's looking truly awesome. The next print I did was this Alvar Alto like vase. I found a drawing of the vase and made a quick sketch in Fusion 360. and. Use it. Use the loft command to extrude this up. Uh, this is just the basic shape of the vase, but this is a vase print and, and it's looking absolutely amazing. If, if you put a light inside or on the back side of it, it shines through as, as it is a semi-transparent. But the more light you can have, the, the better it is looking. So it's looking crazy good and the print surface is very smooth and you you can't see any any layer lines and it's just a, the same surface texture all over so it's 100 percent perfect and very strong also I, I made another vase just to test the strength of the layers and i broke it up in pieces just to test out the layer strength and the layer bonding with this filament printing at 50 millimeters a second is crazy good so for vases like this it's a very good option and it looks absolutely amazing. This was the uh, Alvar Alto like vase I did. The next model I did was this model. I, I found the model of this woman body and, and used mesh mixer to make this Veronai mesh in the model and this also printed out absolutely beautiful and it's looking very good and this is printing out without any supports. I think you can create awesome looking models with this filament and as you can see the, the light refracts in every direction and this is a very cool cool model. I then decided to create my own vase design and I basically created this spline in Fusion 360 and, and moved it on the top side and made a mirror of this spline in between and create a three-part loft and this is looking absolutely beautiful and, and you can see the light refracting in every direction and it came out absolutely crazy good. It's my topmost best looking vase print I have ever done and I was really happy with this print. This was looking amazing and I even I like this filament so much I even saved out the, the skirts of all the prints. <laughs> so they're here stored in the vase. Uh, my cat is always trying to eat those and I have to keep it from him. I, I was teasing people on Twitter with the prints of this filament showing them the skirts and, and some tiny amounts of, of the filament extruding and, and I slowly posted several pictures of those prints but as you can see the, the look of this vase is absolutely amazing and this color is very good it's a purple color but it, if you put more light on it it is like light purple slash pinkish dark pink color so it's a very very nice color and then finally I printed this model this is a model called Mother I found on, on Thingiverse. This is looking absolutely beautiful and as you can see the light refracts in every direction and there's absolutely no issues with this print and uh, it came out excellent. Wish I had a turntable to, to make it <laughs> automatic but as you can see it's, it's looking ex excellent and there's no, no issues with this print. For some reason my, my cat absolutely loves to chew on the Audis model has been chewing on the fangs or head thing <laughs> that this model has. So as you can see in, in front of me I have, have the models printed out and, and the test pieces here and it was really exciting to get this filament and, and try it out and it's a joy to work with this filament. It was printing out without any issues and I used the slicer profile for the engine filament and printing at 240 degrees and with 80 degrees on the bed and printing at 50 millimeters per second. It stuck very well to the PI sheet on my Prusa printer and 
I had to just wait a little bit for the bed to cool down and then it released pretty easy from the PI seat and if you try to remove it while it's still hot it sticks really well to the PI seat but overall I'm, I'm really happy with this filament you should definitely uh, give it a go and if you're gonna print out like pieces like this uh, like a piece of art it's looking very awesome and this is definitely gonna be a, be a showpiece and also the vase prints are coming out excellent and you can see how the light refracts when I r rotate it it is absolutely beautiful and you can also use it for part that requires a good layer adhesion and strength as an engine filament is a engineering great filament I think and I'm really happy with this filament so I would definitely give this a go if you have the option to buy this filament but for now I think this will be it I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one